Hey, welcome back YouTubers to another hashtag TTH unboxing and review. It has been a while. The last video that um, I put out on my channel was the unboxing and review of the Bolt Action Armadillo. Um, very strange type of truck, uh, not hectically well known. Um, it was sort of the dad's army period, the 1940 bit in England, um, which I explained in, in the video. So, yes, you are seeing a lot of bolt action um, recently, guys. It is purely because it has become one of my most played and most favorites of the game systems, if you will, the tabletop World War game systems. Um, and I intend to focus on it for a while. Um, the next unboxing I actually have is the bolt action starter set for the British and Canadians. Um, as for my fourth or fifth bolt action army, I plan on doing the Royal Hamilton Light Infantry Regiment, um, purely because of where they operated. But enough about that. Let me dive into what we have in front of us. So, what do we have in front of us, guys? Well, those of you who have watched Kelly's Heroes and who those of you who are fans of the film, despite its inaccuracies, it was still a very good comedy and um great act cast in my opinion and just a really good laugh and a lot of fun those of you that have watched it then will remember this lovely tank from the show and um it's paint shells it's music speaker and it's crazy tank commander anyways i thought considering that i'm doing the us to add a bit of fun to my army and um this has some rather interesting rules um i had a quick look I opened it up earlier to see if it came with a unit card. It doesn't, unfortunately. It comes with a little mini manual about all the characters and the vehicles and that. Long story short, some of the, the, char the characteristics and rules of this vehicle, if you buy it and if you're going to play it, are that it's paint shells. Um, if you choose to fire them and they hit, they cause an automatic morale check on enemy troops, regardless of if they are regular or veteran. And if they fail, they automatically leave the battlefield. The speak on the tank is used to unpin friendly units in sort of a morale way. Um, all the crew and the vehicle itself are automatically veteran. You need a 6 plus regardless of what happens to kill it. And it counts as a wheeled vehicle. I know it sounds strange, but it's speed. Because as we know in the movie, they like to get out of trouble as quick as they got into it. And then obviously the big gun counts as a heavy anti-tank gun with a plus one to hit bonus. So let's crack on. Let's open this up and we will be right back. And we are back. Sorry, let me just straighten up there. Great. So here's the entirety of the model. Very chunky piece of resin. Um, Going to need to neaten up a few of the edges. And then we have the track sections that are going to go there so not a huge model i mean it's i've just finished the bolt action firefly for my canadians and it's yeah it's like ugh, roughly the same but anyways then we get one of the characters from the movie i can't remember his name he had the little red cap thing on and then we have good old donald sutherland over here so yeah i'm leaving a paint him up i suppose why not let me paint him up these two not really. I, I I enjoy covering these up anyway. I just I'll see. Um, so we have some additions here. They look like mud gods. Um, a, ke a teapot and a bucket, and then the hatches, the Pintle MG HMG, and then our ninety millimeter apparently. Um, yeah, so that's gonna go there, and then of course. We have the extra pipe that they said going on over there, your decal sheet. And then here is the manual, what I was talking about. It talks about the rules, uh, Mulligan's mortars, Hollywood cannon fodder, Hollywood in general. Um, then require six plus to damage and also draw a plus one to hit on all shooting dice rolls. You've got the whole Private Barbara, Sergeant Crap game, Big Joe, Kelly, which is pretty cool. And they got the Sherman here, which is what I'll be talking about. Um, so yeah, you may add a Pintle. Um, it's a 350 point model. 
Oh, that's if you play the Hollywood version. They've got a veteran version too. Um, it's got an automatic gyro stabilizer, an MG9 plus damage value. Um, yeah, the, the, dam the drainage pipe for 10 points gives you more range. Um, special rules. And then, yeah, then it has a few paraphrases from the, the movie. And then there is the manual. Um, yeah, nex nexus of positive energy. Um, so it gives you some hit modifiers, you can ignore, uh, what do you call it, pin markers, and then there's the tiger if you want to do it. So, yeah, not too much in the unboxing. Um, I got it purely because it's rare, um, it's nice to see on the table, come the day I decide to sell my army, it, you know, it's something that'll go nicely, and, um, also just, as I said, it's unique, you know, not, uh, I like going after these the odd models that you don't see all the time and, um, what else? So it's, it, and also I couldn't find a video on this, um, on YouTube and unboxing or review. So I could be the first, I don't know. Um, so yeah, you guys can let me know what you think down below. It seems like it's going to be another bit of a detailing job on here because given that all of these are on already, um, I've also just finished the DD Sherman with the lowered skirts, and that was also quite a mission to paint. But um, I enjoy doing these vehicles. They're a lot of fun, especially the f fact of the resin. Um, I also enjoy the, um, what would you call it, the uh, also the plastic vehicle kits from Warlord in general. Um, it's just these have a nice weight to it. They feel quite um, clunky, but also quality as well. But all in all, I'm... Thumbs up, Warlord and Bolt Action. I'm really enjoying your kits. Um, I see on the side here it says Late War 1944 to 70, considering the movie. Um, get that out the way. As you can see, my desk is untidy. I've been very busy in painting. Currently um, working on this wall guy as well. So, yeah, all in all, I mean, not a lot I can say about it. As I said, if you know the, the movie and you enjoyed it, well, nice to have a model um i know you can get the whole kit the figures the the tiger and everything like that but i, I don't know i think i'll see what happens um it's going to be a lot of fun putting i'm planning on putting this together tonight i'm going to neaten it up a little bit i see i have to cut some edges here because this is not fitting flush um but all in all that is the unboxing guys so if you are going to get this or planning on getting it well now you know hit my channel up and you will have a review on what you're going to get inside it. But disappointed I didn't get a unit card, I must say. It would have made life a lot easier. i um, building a stash of them now, but I'll have to hang on to this leaflet then, which will actually go into my shelf right now. So, yeah, thanks, guys, for joining. Um, I promise the next video will come out soon. It'll probably be, the, as I said, the unboxing of the Canadian set, um, which I plan on getting cracking with. I want to try and get this done too and then um yeah you guys can again let me know what you think on the unboxing um it's just very raw footage and what you will find in the kit so guys let me know what you think down below as always don't forget to leave a like and subscribe it all goes a long way i will do the same with your channels and i see i'm slowly climbing i've just hit above 300 plus subscribers so please continue to do so and help me reach the thousands um as always i thank you so much guys for watching this is as raw as you'll get it in terms of unboxing no not many animations or fireworks but this is what you'll get in the raw unboxing as always thanks so much guys once again hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video